The work of the mysterious artist known as Banksy is coming to San Francisco. And joining us now to talk about it is producer Corey Ross. First of all, thanks for joining us, Corey. And for those of us who aren't familiar with Banksy, tell us a little bit about the artist. But listen, Banksy is uh, famous for being mysterious. Nobody knows who he is. He's an anonymous who's been creating incredible political and humorous graffiti pieces all over the world uh, for the better part of two decades. Um, and so I can't tell you a lot more about Banksy because he's such a mysterious person. Even, even to you producing this new show about his work. Uh, absolutely even to me. Listen, this show is a collection of pieces that Banksy has created um, over the years and sold to a group of collectors. My experience as a producer is interacting with the collectors. Some of the collectors know Banksy because um, they've acquired art directly from him and others have collected art from art dealers. Um, but uh, this is all art. Uh, it's not graffiti art that was on the street. This is private pieces he's created for collectors and this would be the only opportunity to see this many private pieces together. The show's currently in London. Uh, it's headed to Chicago in July and then it will be coming into San Francisco as the next stop. So tell us a little bit about the exhibit. We're, we're talking 80 works on display. What can people expect to see there? So Banksy is so prolific and it's every type of work. So we have sculpture, we have original paintings. Uh, he also has done a lot in printmaking. Um, and we have, we have part of the exhibit takes you behind the scenes on, on how he does his printmaking. Um, so it's original pieces. He also does crazy stunt pieces, like um, he distributed um, uh, 10 pound notes with Princess Diana's face on them instead of the queen. And they got into circulation in the UK. So we have some of those and some of his other stunts um, and special pieces that he's done over the years. Um, it's a very, very exciting collection. Uh, and as I said, people don't usually get to see these. They're usually either locked in warehouses or in the homes of collectors. Uh, and so it's very exciting that this group of collectors wanted to get the work out into the public and give people the opportunity to see them. In terms of the images that you're probably, or some of your viewers will be familiar with uh, from Banksy, we have an original of a flower thrower, uh, which is a very famous piece by Banksy, uh, and Girl with the Red Balloon which are two of his most famous pieces. Girl with the Red Balloon's very famous because he shredded one uh, at Austin. Okay, very good. So eccentric. Obviously, uh, this person has a lot going on. And, uh, you know, these are all you mentioned, private collection pieces. Why did you decide to go exclusively with that? Well, two reasons. One, there is a group of collectors that wanted their works to be seen, so we, we, we wanted to take advantage of that incredible opportunity. But second, we feel strongly that the pieces that, that Banksy has put on the street are there to be out on the street. And so if you want to go to see his piece in Paris uh, or his, his work in the West Bank, uh, or uh, or uh, even um, you know in, in some places in the U.S., I don't believe there's any currently um, uh, in San Francisco, so I think they've all been taken down. But we don't believe in taking the pieces that are on the street off the street. Um, those are there. He's put them out there. They're out there for the public to see. But these pieces that are private um, uh, and that no one would otherwise see, uh, I think, make for a marvelous opportunity to create an exhibit uh, and to take you behind the scenes into the art world uh, and, and the way that Banksy interacts with it. All right. No, we no, we talked about the artist being very private. Is he in any way affiliated with this show? Did he make any decisions, anything? No, he's not affiliated with the show. It's it's completely his collectors who have put this show together. Uh, and uh, and so he's benefited in that he sold art uh, to this group of collectors. But otherwise, he's not he's not affiliated with the art of Banksy. So when and where is this exhibit going to take place, if people are interested? All right. Well, where is still a mystery. So we will be uh, in a very Banksy style. We're finding uh, a secret location, and we'll announce it to the ticket buyers um, just before they come to see the show. Uh, as for when, we're going to be opening uh, in the last week of November in time for Thanksgiving, and we'll go right through Christmas. So for those who are interested, where can they find out more information or get on a list or make sure they get the secret when it's revealed? Well, tickets are on sale already, and that's at BanksyExhibit.com. BanksyExhibit.com. All right, producer Corey Ross, thanks for all of that. Looking forward to it. Thank you. We're very excited to be bringing this to San Francisco, and uh, I look forward to seeing you there.